So we now want to investigate what reciprocal graphs look like. So graphs of the form of y equals a over x. And so the most, um, most useful one to really start with would be y equals 1 over x. So if we consider y equals 1 over x, really we want to start off by plotting a few points. Okay. So let's, for example, let's start with, um, let's start with minus 2. And then let's have um, minus one and a half or minus three halves. Let's then have uh, minus one. Let's then have minus a half, then zero, then a half, one, uh, three halves, and two. Okay? So we've got one over x. So one over minus two is minus a half. We've got uh, 1 over minus 3 halves is minus 2 thirds. Uh, 1 over minus 1 is just minus 1. 1 over minus a half is minus 2. Now, 1 over 0, that's undefined. OK, so we'll see what happens then. 1 over a half is 2. 1 over 1 is 1. 1 over 3 halves is 2 thirds. And 1 over 2 is a half. OK, so this is uh, what I would have. So if I was to plot these points, OK, so let's say I've got, um, let's say that that's one, that's two, there's a half, there's three halves. OK, let's work our way backwards as well. So minus one, minus two, something like that. Let's give ourselves a scale up the side as well. So we're going one, two, one, two. There's the half points. So minus one, minus two, one and two. Okay. So let's see. We've got uh, minus two, minus a half. So minus two, minus a half. It's about there. And we've got minus three halves minus two thirds. So minus two thirds will be something like there ish. And then um, minus one minus one. And then minus a half minus two, which is down there. OK. And then we've got undefined. And then a half two. Then one one. And then three halves, two thirds, so it's about there, and then two, one half. Okay, so this curve is doing something like that, and something like that. Okay, so this is the picture that I have. Now, if I was to draw this um, on a graphing package, obviously you'd be able to get something a little bit more accurate than that. But what you would find if you zoomed out is a graph that is something like this. OK, so what you find is that the curve is getting higher and higher and higher and higher and higher, higher and the gradient's getting steeper and steeper and steeper as it's going towards zero from that direction. And it's going towards negative infinity, so it's getting steeper and steeper gradient as you're going down towards the y-axis from that point. That's because of the undefined nature here. So what we have here is a vertical asymptote. A vertical asymptote at x equals zero because that is what the curve is approaching because you can't divide by zero. Now, as you travel further away from the y-axis, what's happening is the curve is going down and getting shallower and shallower and getting closer and closer and closer to the x-axis. It never quite reaches the x-axis because at no point can y be 0 on this. So there is no value of x that I can substitute in there to get 0. OK? I can substitute in larger and larger and larger and larger numbers, a million, a billion, a trillion, whatever, but I won't ever equal zero. So the curve will get closer and closer and closer, but won't quite ever touch the x-axis. So we also have a horizontal asymptote. A 
at y is zero, or the x-axis, okay? So it is also a line that the curve is tending towards. So this is actually what it looks like. It's quite a strange um, behavior, but it also has this nature of being symmetric in the line y equals x, okay? So something else to look out for. And it also has this rotational symmetry as well. Okay, You could rotate it around the origin by 180 degrees and it will fit on itself perfectly. That is because it's also uh, an odd function as it's referred to. So what we need to be able to do is we need to be able to sketch these graphs and really understand what they look like uh, generally. Okay, So uh, we're going to look through some examples of this in the next video.